What's up guys, this is the Mexican and I'm back with another fresh food for you today. Um, you may have noticed I'm in a different locale, um, recently moved house. Um, that'll also explain the upload schedule that um, I'm sure you'll discover pretty soon. Um, in the meantime, let's get down to the review. Um, oh, I've also got no furniture, that's the um, reason we're doing this on the floor, it's pretty ghetto set up, uh, forgive me for that. Um, but I decided to go to Humburger today. Seat on the other side, it's classy. Um, yeah, there was 20% off on e the Eat Club app that I've uh, mentioned before in the Bistro Morgan review. And I was down at the Glen Ferry Festival. I've uh, dated this video now, so we'll see how long it takes to actually upload this one. But um, yeah, so I thought, oh yeah, let's get 20% off and uh, try it with Humburger's Burgers. Um, I got the uh, Melbourneian today and um, some fries to go along with it. Um, well, a lot fell out in the bag during the um, walk. Um, from uh, Glen Ferry Road, it was a bit of a distance, but um, it's still warm, still warm, so it's, it's good. Um, here's the burger, yeah, looking looking nice, I should probably should have taken it out for that um, shot, but you'll see it in a minute. Um, the Melbourne is a pretty standard burger, it's got some, sp oh no, yeah, no, no, it's not the hum the Humburger, I think they call it, at Humburger, funnily enough, is the pretty standard burger, but the Melbourne is, his um, has a bit of a kick to it apparently, it's got spicy mayo and jalapenos in it, as well as cheese, beef, lettuce, you know, the usual. Um, so let's just, oh, there we go, you get a good look at that. It's pretty, pretty decent looking, not gonna lie. Now let's uh, just dig right in, see what we got. Mm. Got tomatoes as well, apparently. Didn't, didn't remember that from the uh, menu, but um, I'm sure it was on there. I'm gonna take a um, bit of water because apparently I'm a little bitch. That, um, that chili kick was uh, more than I expected. So yeah, definite chili kick. Got some onion in there as well. Now just discovered, a bit of beef fell out. I'm just gonna pop that in my mouth. Mmm. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get a bit of that tomato in here. Pretty goddamn fantastic, actually. Yeah, um, probably a bit spicy for the um, for anybody who really can't handle spice. If you can do a little bit of spice, this, well, if it's only a little bit, you probably won't handle this either. This is moderately spicy. Um, probably around the same kick as the um, Caprico review I did a while back. Um, yeah, similar similar kick to that. It's, pre it's pretty good, pretty good. But yeah, like I said, um, the lay the lay person who doesn't do spice at all will not be able to handle this burger. Um, but all in all, pretty solid effort. The beef is uh, lovely, a lovely texture. It's proper quality beef. You can see, uh, let's get a bit closer. Yeah, good quality beef. Um, nice. The mayo is really nice. The jalapenos add that fucking delicious kick. Now, the lettuce got a bit soggy from the um, transport. You can see, uh, see on the bag, it, uh, <laughs> it seeped through a bit. But that, that's okay. That's what you expect after a 15 minute walk. Um, let's try some of the chips. Yeah, they're okay, they're okay. Nothing special about them, they're, they're just chips. They could they could use a bit more crisping if um, if I had a criticism to levy against these. But they're all right, nothing to complain about, right. Yeah, um, in total this uh, cost me $12.40 with the after the 20 cent discount got applied. So I'm sure someone can do the math on that and figure out what the original price was supposed to be with the burger and chips. But um, yeah, for twelve dollars forty, it's a pretty good feed. Um, the burger, of course, is the standout. The chips are just yeah, chips, like I said. Um, what would I give the um, what would I give this out of uh, ten? Though that's the question. Um, probably pretty bloody good. It probably would have been better if I ate it fresh as well. So I'm I'm inclined to be pretty generous with this and give it a um, eight point five hums out of ten. Burgs, that's, that's, yeah, I know, that's pretty fucking weak, I can, do, I can do better than that. But, um, I should have gone with Humbugs, I, I assume that's what they named it after. Um, but yeah, no, all in all, pretty solid effort. Um, definitely might do a series on these burgers, um, do, do their entire range. I've got about five burgers, um, probably skip one of them because one of them really does not appeal to me, but, uh, so I will obviously give that a little review if I don't like it at all. Um, so I'll probably skip that one altogether, but um, yeah, all in all, solid effort. Can't, uh, yeah, I can wholeheartedly recommend Humburger if you're looking for a burger down Glenferry Road. 
Um, if you liked the content, um, you can go ahead and subscribe on the left. Or if you want to watch another burger review, perhaps, um, just click the icon on the right. Thank you for watching. This is The Mexican, signing off.